This video is sponsored by PageProof. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see this tip. Okay, here we are in After Effects. I am coming in here and <laughs> making an animation. <laughs> so I want to do this really cool um, social animation. And so at this point, I really want to have a um, you know, nice pie chart, some dynamic graphics, maybe animate some text. And um, I don't have a charting tool in oh, After Effects. Yeah. Oh. And I could make some type, but I got to make keyframes and do all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's actually going to be a lot faster in PowerPoint. So here we are inside of PowerPoint. I made a square, just like my buddy Joel. And so what I want to do here is I came in here. I got some live data hooked up to this. You guys all know how that works. And so one of the first things I did is I went into my color settings, down to colors, and I made a color group where all the swatches are white. Why would I do that? Well, I want to put this over in top of my video, and I want it to be transparent and all these kind of cool things. And I don't really like all these colors. So I'm going to come in here and color that white. Kind of looks terrible. If I select this and go to the animation panel, I have an animation built for this chart already. So if we come over here and take a look at the animation panel um, here, I can select this and play this. So I have a couple timing things set up. So three come up and then one. This is a coffee that we're working on. Let me go to slide two. Let me come in here and grab my text, holding the shift key. Let me copy these. Let's go to page one. And I'm going to move these off the stage a little bit. And I'm going to use a morphing effect from slide one to slide two to get all of these to move across. And then for the magic piece, what I want to do is I want this to be transparent. Well, I only have a couple of export options from PowerPoint, and none of them include alpha transparent video, which is super fancy, not in PowerPoint, not what it's built for. So what I'm going to do instead is go to my design area. We're going to go to the format background, and I'm going to pick a horrible color that's not anywhere. I'm basically creating a green screen. It's not just for Star Wars. <laughs> so now once I have this in place, I'm going to go up to the file menu. We're going to come down to export. The key here is we're going to come down. We're going to choose an MOV. If you're on Windows, choose AVI. You don't want compression. Don't choose MPEG-4. You want as many pixels and as much quality as you can get. Hit export. Pick your desktop. That's going to give me a video file. Let's switch over to After Effects. So inside of After Effects, I have my chart video. Let's grab this, drag and drop it. Here it is inside of my area. So now I'm going to come over here to my effects and presets. I'm going to go and search for key lights, which is going to give me the ability to take that green, use an eyedropper tool, pop that out, play this in my video. Then if I actually add some keyframes, I can actually move the video while it animates, and I can actually get animations from PowerPoint coordinated with the animations from After Effects. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.